take this hose off, just disconnect it on the snorkel. I'll disconnect it over here as well and just to get it out of the way. Just slide that little lock tab up and it slides off. And there's a hose right here. Just slide that hose off there. And I wanna loosen up these worm clamps. Use a straight blade screwdriver. And also over here. And slide the snorkel off. side as well. And there's a hose clamp right here. Loosen this one up. Straight blade screwdriver. And try to wiggle this hose off. Might need to pry it off with a screwdriver or a pick. And slide that hose off. Put the hose clamp aside. And there's a hose connected in the back. Just use some hose clamp pliers. You can either loosen this clamp up or take the other one off. And slide it down. And take the screwdriver or pick and slide this hose off. Now take this hose out of the way. There's a little clip right here. Just have to push in on the clip. And slide it out. If you look on this side, these are the two little tabs. You just push them together and then push them like that. That slides out. Just disconnect that right there. You can just slide this out of the way. You don't have to disconnect it from the other side. Just leave that out of the way. And this coolant hose, I'm not gonna disconnect it. Just take it off of this bracket right here and right here. Just slide it out of the way. And disconnect these connectors. Push down on the tab. Slide that one off. This one has a little lock on it for the throttle body. Slide the lock back, and then you can push down on the tab and slide the connector off. Now we're gonna take these bolts out. Just use an eight millimeter socket. All right, those are all loose. Grab the plenum and slide it out. And take some rags and just put them in the intake ports. Just remember you want to remove these before you put it back together. This just prevents um, dropping anything into the intake. To disconnect the connector on the coil, there's a little retainer lock. Push down on that, slide it towards you, and then push down on the lock tab and slide the connector out just like that. Use an eight millimeter socket, take this bolt out. Just grab the coil and just slide it out. And the boot actually came off the coil end, so we're gonna have to grab that. But normally there's a boot that's attached. You can use some long needle nose pliers. Try to grab the boot. All right, and just slide that out. Before we take the plug out, just take some compressed air, and just spray it down in there. If there's any debris in there, or sand or anything, you don't want that getting into the engine. Now I'm gonna use a spark plug socket, a 5 8 and this one has a magnet on the end of it. Some of them have a rubber grip, and it's long enough so I don't need an extension. And take the spark plug out. And slide it out. You want to compare the old plug to the new plug. Make sure the lengths of the threads are the same. You don't want a spark plug that's too long to go back in there. And spark plugs are pre-gapped. And just line it up. And slowly start the threads. Now I'm going to torque this to 11 foot-pounds. Now take the new coil. And it looks like there's a little bit of dielectric grease on the coil, but I'm just going to add a little more. Can't hurt. Just like that. And install the coil. 
push it down, take the bolt, put the bolt back in, and tighten it down. And just snug that bolt up. That's good. And plug it back in. Push the lock down. And then you can do the same procedure for the other ones. Now take these rags out. Just make sure you didn't get anything down in there. You can use a blow gun and blow out the intakes. And just wipe it off. All right, whenever you do this job, you want to replace this gasket right here. You can just use a pick, pull it off, and put the new gasket on. Make sure that it's all nice and cleaned off. Slide this back in position. That's good. Get all the bolts started. Now there is a torque sequence that you have to tighten these down and I'm going to torque these to seven and a half foot pounds. So this is number one. This is number two. And number three. And number four. And number five is on the opposite side. And then number six. And number seven. And after you do that, you're going to go around again the same sequence, but you're going to tighten it an additional 45 degrees. Now you can use a torque angle meter, or if you don't have a torque angle meter, just do the best you can. Just try to guesstimate 45 degrees. Now we can plug these connectors in, plug the throttle body in, the purge valve, lock it in place, line this coolant hose up. Then the hose that goes to the purge valve, line that up, lock it down. And put this hose on on the back. Use the hose clamp pliers, move that hose clamp. Get it as close as where it was. Slide this hose clamp back over this hose. Goes to the brake booster and to the top of the intake, slide that on. Use a straight blade screwdriver, tighten up the worm clamp. And slide the snorkel back on. Slide this tube back in position right there and tighten up the clamps. And reconnect this hose. And lock it in place.